your organization. Okay? So what does that managing spend actually mean? Well, essentially, uh, every business needs to manage and control its travel and expense processes and budget. But it's becoming increasingly difficult because the way businesses are buying is changing. The number of suppliers your work is likely to grow, is well, likely growing, and the role employees play in those purchases is evolving. That's why our travel expense and invoice services is one integrated solution. Uh, if you need to book a trip, you'll probably need to create expense reports. Um, so why should the two be sifting in separate silos? Um, the way people buy, as we said, has also changed. So um, purchases now may be conducted by individuals from a supplier side. So again, it's very important if you really want to get a handle of your data and thus make an impact to that data and change the processes that you're undertaking to look at this as opposed to one silo of travel expense or invoice but look at it holistically uh, to, to give you the data you really need and with our integrated solution from a travel perspective you can provide more uh, global flight and hotel supplier choices to your traveler by integrating data from GDS and TMC partners as well as direct connections with travel suppliers. Uh, we can ensure compliance, of course, with your travel and spending policies, uh, fulfill your duty of care obligations by having an easy way to determine where your employees are uh, when there's a, a disaster or emergency, uh, track and manage spending by integrating data from corporate credit card providers and receipts directly from key suppliers, so you can pull in and classify individual charges. And of course, reduce weeks of invoice wrangling to a few days uh, of auto by, 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 by online processing and by automatically capturing and routing invoices from multiple supports from multiple sources and then managing approvals. And and the great thing about you know, Concur is that um, this is probably the nirvana where a lot of companies are getting to nowadays. But it's modular. So you know, if you wanted to look at uh, the expense uh, process initially, and then invoice or vice versa. The solution is extremely scalable, so you can um, deliver what you want to today, knowing there's some additional value later on in terms of looking at the other areas. Okay. So we've already talked about you know spend and how buying behavior has changed, and, and this is probably you know a, a slide from yesteryear where you had. Um, centralized spend, which was pre-planned, conducted by a few individuals who had that control, and then you have the user-driven spend, which is more decentralized, often not pre-approved, and often incurred by, 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 by the individuals, the employees in the organization. But as we said, the market is facing disruption, as buying is becoming less of a formal purchasing function and more a business user function. A formal purchasing process used to drive the vast majority of spend for most companies where purchases were made by a few people. But today, user-driven purchases are a large and growing percentage of the business's spend. So when you look at this, you know, things like pre-approval is critical, uh, the way people buy anything is changing, and the technology at their disposal, uh, disposal is changing. Uh, the way suppliers interact with buyers is changing, and all of these changes are only going to accelerate the buyer-driven portion of your spend. Because if you think about it, I'm sure there's people in your organization that will go and buy uh, procurement-led um, spending in, uh, areas, but they're not in procurement. You know, they've needed to go and buy certain stationery for whatever reason. And unless you're really looking at it holistically, you're only going to get a portion of that visibility of spend. Okay. So let's look what a convoluted process may look like, and I'm sure this may look familiar to a lot of you. Um, so, from an expense perspective, um, you know, you've got your air, you've got your hotel, you've got car, other expenses that go into some version of an expense claim, and there may be multiple uh, spreadsheets depending on whether it's domestic or whether it's international or by department. Uh, receipts are probably stapled to the back and then sent off to the manager of approval. We all know how it can sit on a desk for ages, annoying the employee who's incurred spend on the company behalf. There may be some back and forth. 
and then to finance with some more questions and finally that data, that information is manually keyed into the general ledger and the expense claim is filed. I'm sure quite a lot of you can 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 recognize can recognize that process. Um, now let's look at uh, and that was just for expense. Let's see what happens, you know, if we, we add invoice to the mix. Um, so, you know, similarly, your supplier will send an invoice, which probably creates a few questions internally. You've got to find out who raised that invoice. It then needs to be coded and routed for approval, where some additional questions will be asked, and it's mailed off to accounts payable to be audited. And then again, entered into the um, financial system for payment and storage. And the reality is, um, okay, this kind of process, you know, it can give you some real issues. Um, it's time consuming, as we mentioned. There's no specific audit trail. Uh, reconcile, reconciling credit card charges um, to, to the cash spend can, can, be, can be a challenge. Um, ensuring that your policy is enforced can be difficult because either your managers need to know the policy by heart or your back office team do. Uh, and then, of course, you know, you have in the efficient inefficiencies of manually keying that data in and the lack of visibility that comes with it, okay? What the process could look like is more of an integrated logical workflow that we have here. Um, and, and essentially, with that workflow, you're going to get a, a more user-friendly, integrated process which gives you that visibility. And when we look at it, uh, you know, the, the guy on the left here, uh, you know, he, he might be, I'm not sure if he's using Concur or not, but certainly, you know, with Concur and the mobile functionality, which we'll touch upon in a minute, you have the opportunity to really take advantage of any dead time or on-the-go uh, capturing of those expense claims. And it just means, you know, that the, the picture on the right, who, who could be a claimant at the end of the month or at the end of three months, as, as sometimes the case, uh, is much more efficient in terms of their time to create an expense report, um, or even from a, a, a back office perspective, uh, more more efficient in terms of the way those expenses or invoices are managed. Okay. So let's look at some of the savings, and there are some significant savings here, focusing only from. Um, an automation, a processing perspective. And this data was taken from sources like the Aberdeen Group, which has done uh, lots of studies on both expense and invoice processing. Uh, it's taken from YouGov surveys, but you can see pretty clearly there that you know, the, the savings only from a processing perspective are quite significant when you look to automate the process. And that's only increased when you look to automate both, okay? Okay, so, um, and we talked about, you know, some of the processing savings, but there are massive uh, savings to be had by, by automating that process, uh, whether it's supplier, uh, supplier savings, policy savings, VAT savings, uh, mileage savings, uh, but unless you get a real handle on the data, um, that's never going to be apparent. Um, so, and, and when you consider um, expenses represent typically the second highest operating cost within businesses, there really is an opportunity to have a big impact on your bottom line and one which will not take too long to attain. Um, so Concur provides a reporting tool that enables you to report on every single field within the system. So that's going to give you the data. But then what should you do? Well. As we speak to our clients, you know, they're watching out for trends when the expenses are submitting, and they take notes of spending patterns. They promote spending within policy. Uh, they're reviewing the historical data to determine appropriate spend limits, and they're using the data that you've collected through the system to improve forecasting and cash flow projections. And this is all about putting the data to work. And we ask some prospects, how do they acquire the data today? The answers we typically get you know, this may uh, resonate with some of you, is we manage it, uh, we manage the information from our ERP system or through our corporate card supplier or through our travel management company in terms of our consolidated monthly invoices uh, or through the different business units or the finance department is the central repository. But then we ask, okay, how do you actually reconcile that data? 
How is that data distributed to the decision makers in your organization? And how old or accurate is that data by the time you get it into their hands? And to try and make sense of all this data and provide everyone uh, the data they're looking for in a, in a timely fashion, your company has to start looking at the data and, and working that data to ensure that you can get the maximum benefit for it. But that's what Concur is trying to do. It's not just about looking at the processing side of helping you drive efficiencies uh, from uh, processing an invoice or processing an expense claim. It's about accumulating and consolidating as much spend data as we can so you get that vision, that version of the truth that we talked about. And that's whether we're taking, as I said, corporate card data into the system, whether we're taking it directly from suppliers, whether we're taking it from a travel management company. Concur is going to look to aggregate this data um, to give you what you need to then strategically shape your process moving forward. And again, when we talk to clients about the data they've got now and how it helps them shape the process, you know, the things they're telling us is it's now possible, it's much easier to do themselves, and they can do it at a pace and cost that they can easily manage. Okay? So, this probably, again, looks familiar uh, in terms of the, 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 the workflow that is undertaken for uh, booking some travel and then incurring expense report. Um, but the scary thing is, for many companies, this manual process is the norm. And, and the reason is, it's always been this way, it's not broken, why should we fix it? There's nothing wrong with the approach. And you know what? It may function fine, but does it really function well? Is it consuming too many hours, too many man hours? Is it accurate? And do you have the visibility you want? Okay? And this is what a complete end-to-end -end solution could look like. Uh, where it's a logical workflow from each uh, section to the other, whether you're booking travel uh, and that's flowing into your expense claim, uh, whether you have the ability to then audit uh, that expense claim or invoice to make sure that the amounts are correct and the receipts um, uh, um, validate the amount in the system, the ability to reimburse uh, the employee or the supplier so you don't have to create uh, employees or suppliers in your own system. And of course, overlaying all that, the rich, powerful reporting tool that's going to help you shape the process moving forward. OK? One of the key changes in how people are um, incurring expenses, capturing expenses nowadays, is obviously the use of smart technology. Um, and you know, this shouldn't be too um, unfamiliar with your employees. Most of them today are probably already using mobile applications for banking, uh, for shopping potentially, uh, for capturing business functions like Salesforce or travel um, type of applications. And with expense reports, the very nature of it, it should be no different. Gone are the days where you had spreadsheets which were ineligible, where you attach receipts which got rooted to somewhere else and then fell into the ether. Uh, the mobile functionality has, was made uh, for expense uh, claiming uh, and has really um, delivered efficiencies within it. Okay? And let's look at some of the things that you can do within that mobile functionality now. So everything you can do on the desktop, um, you know, you, you want to give to the user to do on the mobile. And whether that's booking travel, uh, whether it's uh, capturing receipts, um, whether it's you know, getting you directions in terms of where you're going and capturing the mileage, uh, the mobile application can do all that. And it's really revolutionized the way the claimants can go about generating the claims. But also, as you can see there, top right, the approval of those claims. Uh, as an approver, uh, when a claim comes through, they can see if, it was, if it's a duplicate, they can see if it was incurred on a weekend, uh, and, and you can see how much potentially over policy that claim is. So a manager can now approve a claim very quickly, but more importantly, very accurately. And really, just 
just a summarization of some of the things we mentioned in terms of uh, you know being reimbursed faster and getting visibility that stand okay and don't take our word for it um, so this is one of our clients where we're talking about approvals specifically and as you can see um, this this uh, this young lady Nicole Krugel has said that approvals can now be done very very quickly she can now process 50 claims in half an hour Previously, it took her 20 minutes per claim. So you can just get a feel there as to the efficiency gain, but also because the system is managing policy, you're going to know that the approval is going to be accurate as well. Okay. So finally, before I close off and hand over to my, my colleague uh, at TaxVac, who uh, we've been working with for a very long time now, compliance is obviously another big area why companies wish to automate both the invoice and expense process. And you can see here, again, some data taken from Aberdeen Group uh, and Gartner surveys. Um, and I think the shocking one here is, I mean, 8.2 billion paid out in employee expenses last year, obviously a huge number. But then when you overlay the fact that 20% of the full-time employees thinks it's acceptable to exaggerate expenses, it really is an area that deserves the proper um, scrutiny, visibility, and controls as you would expect um, in other areas. Okay. And how can Concur, Concur help do that? Well, as part of the system, we can help with both the, the internal compliance and the regulatory compliance. Uh, from an internal compliance perspective, we're going to build policies so that you know employees know what they're allowed to spend on. We can also have a pre-approval so you can control spend before it's even incurred. And then from a receipt perspective, we have an audit service as well, which will substantiate the amount on the receipts against the amount in the system. They're also going to look for things like policy to make sure that the employee adheres to, to your company policy. As an example, you know, you may have a policy which says you're allowed 20 pounds for dinner, but one alcoholic drink. The receipt will say, you know, you've had two. We can push that back as an example if your policy dictates that. Okay. But in addition to the internal policy that we talked about, it's also hugely important to make sure that any system you bring in uh, meets the regulatory or legislative compliance. And Concur has been designed uh, essentially as the only ICAEW system um, to be accredited, it's been designed with um, compliant country templates in place. So essentially, 80% of the work is done, and the other 20% is the configuration to the customer need. But this ensures that things like um, mileage rates are all compliant. If there's a change, we'll change that for you. The system will monitor the 10,000 mile uh, rates. So if you go over that, the rates will automatically change. Things like Bribery Act have already been built into the system. So it's being designed to be uh, compliant both in the UK and other regions. And of course, VAT. Uh, big area for us in terms of making sure the system can calculate against every single line item how much VAT is applicable and potentially how much VAT are you missing out on because you're not capturing um, the correct receipts. And Concur will identify that VAT for you, so you feel confident you know what that VAT element looks like. Um, but recovering it, of course, is a whole different ball game. And that's really where we work with our partnership with TaxVac, uh, where we've helped many companies have an integrated approach um, and, and, and attain a lot of VAT that they were previously leaving on the table. And I guess that's a nice segue to my colleague, Eamon, who will now pick up the rest of the story and how by working together we can ensure a very tight process which gives you the efficiencies and visibility you're looking for and helps you uh, ensure as much savings as possible. Amen. Thank you, Srihab. Thank you very much. Um, I so guys. So I'm going to pass you over to Aina now. Um, Aina is with TaxBack International. And he's going to just run through, I suppose you heard from Shehab, how 8.2 billion is paid out in expenses each year in the UK alone. So hopefully Amy is going to give you a brief intro on to, so to show you basically how much of that is back and how much um, can be recovered. And I suppose the challenges that can occur when 
we are either recovering manually um, and the benefits of partnering with um, Concur and how it gives us access to seamless uh, data. So over to yourself, Anna. Thank you very much, Laura. Appreciate it. Thank you, Shihab. Um, so as rightly, uh, as, as she had mentioned there, Concur have revolutionized the way companies will manage their expenses. Um, and in line with that, Taxback International are, have been working with Concur for the past eight years or so to help um, their clients and our clients, um, I suppose, revolutionize the way VAT recovery is, uh, is managed and is handled um, by individuals. Our integration with Concur will allow us to automatically download um, data feeds, download images from Concur to uh, ensure um, I suppose full compliance of uh, VAT recovery. Okay? Okay, so as you can see, she had mentioned uh, earlier on that there's 8.2 billion in the UK of spend. Well, right across Europe, there's 20 billion euros left unclaimed every year, which is a huge, huge amount of money. Um, and when you look at uh, a company's bottom line, this can have a, an, an adverse effect on it. So what we aim to do today is to show you guys how, by using both the Concur and Taxback International solution, is that we can reclaim as much of that for you guys as possible. Okay. It's not easy. Um, I suppose it's similar to life, it can be quite complicated. Various different rules, regulations, country specifics that your um, accounts department, tax departments may or may not know. The majority of them may know for their own specific country, but when you look at the 43 countries with reciprocity rules, um, it's very, very difficult for you know one individual or two individuals in your company to understand all those rules. So hence the way tax, or hence the reason a lot of companies will use uh, Taxback International for their VAT recovery. We understand each and every single one of those rules, the various different VAT rates, and and what I suppose, documentation implementation is, is required. Okay. Why is it beneficial? Um, very straightforward. Uh, there's VAT, as we mentioned, 20 million left on the table. It's yours. We get it back. Um, it reduces any cost of expenses. It improves the cash flow. Um, with the automated uh, partnership we have with Concur, means that we can uh, download and pull down data on a regular basis. That could be daily, weekly, quarterly, um, depending on volumes. We offer um, a full global solution uh, with no language barriers. We deal with all the tax officers on your behalf. So again, making life a lot easier for your accounts department, for your tax department, etc. Which also will allow them, I suppose, focus on their day-to-day -day activities, which is a real key, key, um, I suppose, benefit to this whole process. And that. We all know, um, you know, accounts teams, tax teams have monthly, quarterly uh, deadlines with filing returns, year end, quarter end, etc. So the last thing they want to do is go through and uh, and, and verify and, and make sure that receipts are, are compliant for VAT recovery purposes. So Taxback International takes that that pain uh, away from everybody, away from those individuals within your organisation, and there's a full VAT recovery solution, and everything is done on a contingency fee, contingency fee model. Um, so you know, no upfront fees, etc. Okay. So I suppose what isn't claimable is, is, is the other side. In terms of expenses, the majority of, ex of expenses will be refundable. And they do vary country to country, but the standard ones, accommodation, meals, for most of the EU countries, there will have a, a, a reciprocity rule there. VAT rates also change, you know, the highest being 27%, down to the lowest being 4, 5, or sorry, 8%, 13%, depending on the expense type. So with the rich platter of data that's in Concur, when your employees are uploading expense systems, you know, they have a drop down, they have a tick box to say it's a meal, it's a hotel, it's an event, it's uh, etc. And our software tool, um, can when we pull that data in, can identify those particular expense types in those particular in each individual country. It understands the VAT rates. If the VAT rates change, which they do often enough, you know our system is updated according to that. So what we do then is we spit out a uh, a refund potential um, that every client should be aiming for. Now, 100% of that may be difficult to get, but from the start, you know, if it's a first-time user, you'd be looking 30, 40% of that VAT is recoverable. And then, when our continuous improvement programs, as I'll speak a little bit later, um, we aim to increase that, you know, year on year to I suppose, maximize the VAT recovery on your behalf. Okay. 
it's simple. It's easy. We're trying to make life as easy for our, 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 our clients as possible. So she had earlier on talked about how it's, 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 it's changed, how it's gone from a manual process to a more automated process. So you know, you have employees sitting in an airport taking a photo, uploading the expense reports. They can they can be approved before he gets back to the office the next day. So once that is in the approval process, it goes through the Concur system, and um, Taxbank International, as I mentioned earlier, pull that data, pull those images down. We do all our VAT um, um, uh, audits. We ensure that the, the invoices are compliant. We ensure that the invoices are accurate. The VAT amounts are there correctly. The VAT rates are there, etc. Submit to the tax officers on your behalf. or provide you with what we call a domestic VAT recovery report, which can be um, offset or included in your next VAT return. And the refund always comes back to you guys, which is I suppose, the main reason for VAT recovery. And let's face it, guys. You know, everyone wants to, every company wants to save money, and, and, and where they can, this is a huge area that we can help you with. Okay. Um, again, you know, I, I, I can talk and I can tell you how, how great we are. Um, so I'd just like to, you know, guys, take 30 seconds or so to read a case study from one of our clients. Um, but in a nutshell, they were doing it manually. They moved to the Concur tax back process, and where they have increased their VAT recovery rate by 200%, which is a phenomenal saving for. Uh, any company, no matter how large uh, or, or, or small they are, if you can increase your VAT recovery 200%, it's, it's fantastic. And using the Concur Tax Back uh, Joint Proposition is a way we can help you do that. Okay. She had earlier on talked about again, you know, spend being I think it was 19% and the, the, the second highest operational costs. Um, if you can reclaim, you know, 1.5% of that on, on globally or 10% or on, on, on based on your European travel, that is definitely a significant saving. And more and more companies are opening themselves up to that. 10 or 15 years ago, people just reviewed expenses as a cost and that was it, and they never did anything about it. But now, as people um, are, are realizing, are looking, looking at bottom line, are realizing that there are you know, massive savings here um, and they want it done as quickly and as easily as possible without using the resources, well, then this is the way to do it. Okay. So, as part of our continuous improvement plan, okay, um, we not only aim to recover the VAT that we can put, we also aim to, to, to get a better understanding as to where I suppose, the leakage is um, and how we can increase awareness with our, um, or, sorry, for our clients right the way down to the individuals to see what can they do to improve on their VAT compliance levels. Because we all know, we've all been there, we've traveled to a hotel, we're in a rush in the morning because we got up late, you know, we're checking out, we just get the invoice and we run out the door. But if we took, you know, 10 or 15 seconds um, to request that the, 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 you know, the person behind the, the hotel reception desk included the company name uh, and address on the invoice, well then that will make life a hell of a lot easier for everybody further down the line. So there is always going to be a gap between the potential of that recovery and the amount that we actually um, recover on your behalf. And again, the reasons are, I suppose, in, in compliant invoices, where it could be on behalf of the supplier, you know, it could be sometimes the way the, the, the individuals uh, upload the, the expenses or the, or the receipts in, into Concur because we can't see them. Um, and the solution comes in a number of different ways, or sorry, one specific way mainly, in that with the rich platter of data that's in Concur, we can analyze that and we can provide you a fully, um, I suppose, comprehensive breakdown in terms of, uh, you know, right the way down to expense report level, uh, department level, um, in compliant reasons, etc. And that's through our enhanced audits. Okay. So generally speaking, when a client kind of moves to the tax back concurrent solution at the very start from a, a manual solution, the recovery value is about 33% uh, and, 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 and there's a hell of a lot of leakage. Okay, so what we aim to do there is to provide analytic data um, using the, the, the information in Concur um, and using our own software tools and um, to identify uh, what the VAT potential is initially, uh, what we've recovered and how we can go by uh, increasing that recovery rate. So you can see here um, information on what the total spend was. What the ineligible spend is, I mean, so there's no VAT recovery there. 
the eligible spend and the actual VAT potential. So we can break that down into um, various different uh, I suppose, reporting functions historically and um, moving forward, uh, what the regression is, uh, what the VAT potential is on the various different exp expense types, and also then uh, likes of ineligible expense types. So you know, you can see there on the bottom left, it's, it's not a VAT invoice. So it takes up a large proportion of the, the reasons why uh, VAT is ineligible to recover. And that could be because we may have had a credit card receipt uh, uploaded instead of the actual um, receipt or invoice. Or the supplier may not, it could be a pro forma invoice, for example, or the supplier may not have done any the details on it. So various different reasons as to why the VAT is, is, is not being recovered. And then we kind of put in actions or education webinars in, in in place to uh, teach the, your, your department, your employees, um, as what best practices are. Okay. So the recovery analysis you can get by entity. You can see who's compliant, who's not compliant, what the various amounts are. We also, especially with our, our kind of larger global clients, we'll be able to see. Um, what stage the audit's at? So whether we're, we're reviewing the, you know historic 2015 data for a particular client, whether we're up to speed and we've done Q1 and Q2 for 2016. Um, so all that information is there. We also have indicators in terms of the compliance levels um, based on you know historic this year versus last year. Have the rates increased? Have they not increased? If they have in certain countries, brilliant. If they haven't in other countries, well then again, we can break it down into the reasons why and try and educate and, and work with our clients to, to increase those compliance levels and VAT recovery. Okay. Again, companies are always looking to get their money back as soon as possible. So it's a case of, uh, you know, when were the claims submitted? How much? How much was refunded? How much is still in work at the tax offices? How much uh, has potentially been rejected? So all that information is there. It's fully transparent. It's, it's it's visible for everyone to see to make sure that we're doing our job in terms of looking after the client, looking after your money, looking after your applications, and making sure they are processed um, from tax the international side in a timely manner. But also then they're managed with the, with the relative tax offices to make sure that they have been uh, or that they're sort of processed within the time limits. Uh, Italy is a little exception to the rule, so um, <laughs> unfortunately they don't adhere to any timelines. But again, you know, we do work with, we do work with them quite closely, so uh, there shouldn't be an issue getting your money back at some stage. Okay. And right the way down to, I suppose, uh, transaction and invoice level is, is, is what type of reporting you will get. Um, again, using the data that's in Concur, we can, avoid, we can uh, I suppose, provide what we call advanced reporting, which will allow you to uh, upload these figures you know, easier into your ERP systems. It'll give you information like accounting code, GL code, department codes, project codes, um, all that lovely information that, 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 that finance and accounts want in order to distribute the, the, the VAT recovery uh, uh, amounts accurately um, back into the departments, but also make sure that the tax codes um, that are related to each of these individual expense types are there, again, and easy to upload. Every report that we provide to you guys can be exported into Excel, and um, also then you will get a, a, an image. If Again, if you're using Concur, we can get an image of the invoice or the, or the, the, the receipt that's been uploaded in, into Concur attached to our reporting function too, in case of audit purposes. Okay. Part of the, I suppose, again, the whole VAT audit or the enhanced audit solution is to really determine what's incompliant or what are the reasons why that VAT is, leakage, is, is leaking. Um, a huge amount of one is because there was no there was no originals kept, especially if you're non-EU. Uh, employee name is, is a massive one again, or the suppliers then are, are, are incorrectly incorrectly issuing the invoices. So all this, in, this information is is really really valuable in terms of how we can increase the VAT recovery potential, and we can't do it without I suppose that. Well, we can't do it as easy without the, the, the information in Concur because it allows us to pull, analyze all the information and provide it back to you guys quite simply. Okay? Here's just a small selection of, uh, for example, 
VAT leakage. Uh, the bottom right is a classic one. Um, I, I think it was approved by line managers, but I couldn't tell you exactly. But it's basically someone taking a picture of their fuel pump um, at, the, at, the, at the fuel station, the gas station, petrol station, and uh, that's what they upload it. There's no VAT on it. There's no no receipt. Um, so you know it's very, absolutely impossible to recover any type of VAT on this. Also, you see some other samples of where they're uh, they've uploaded um, you know large amounts of, of of receipts. Now, a lot of the times this is fine uh, if you have you know three or four which are le uh, are legible. But as you can see from the examples there, none of these are legible, so we don't know exactly what amounts they are. They could have been receipts from six months ago, twelve months ago. We have no idea. So therefore, we cannot unfortunately um, recover the VAT based on this information. So we would encourage um, employees that when they are doing multiple receipts and um, that they, you know. They might do three or four at a time, but I suppose best practice from our point of view would be to you know have, a, have an individual receipt at transaction level, so uh, it, it makes life a little bit easier. Okay. How we I suppose will um, ensure that or, or, or offer assistance to our our, uh, our clients in that making sure everything is actually you know recoverable and they're doing what. It, what they should be doing or meeting meeting those compliance um, invoices, so we can give some kind of training for, um, to either uh, generally speaking it's on webinars. We provide information on what needs to be on an invoice. It's fairly straightforward. We need a company name, address, the supplier's VAT number, and a breakdown of the individual transactions, like a hotel, for example, breakdown between accommodation, the meal. Um, you know, movies, um, spa treatments, whatever it is, so that we can ensure that we're not overclaiming on VAT and that the correct VAT rates have been uh, attributed to each of those different expense types. Okay. She had mentioned earlier on that everything, you know, it, it's not just expense management, but it's also allowing to book those travel arrangements, um, which again can be uploaded directly into the Conquer system. So we've also built an API to, to I suppose, attach onto that. So when, for example, you are traveling from your uh, overseas um, to a country where there's a refund or a reciprocity agreement, um, we will notify you, you know, when you booked your, your trip, let's say from the UK to Germany. Send you a little reminder or an email to say, hey, you know, you're traveling to Germany. Don't forget to get a VAT compliant invoice from for the hotel. When you're in Germany, we'll send you another little reminder to, 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 to say the same thing. And then when you come back, we'll say, hey, don't forget to upload that um, uh, invoice into Concur and make sure it's VAT compliant. So all of this is, is all about educating and and, and and reaching out to the employees and to the businesses to ensure that the VAT compliance is there and. We can only do that again through, I suppose, the, the, the technology that's the, that, that's available to us with Conquer. Okay. There are, I suppose, a lot of situations, um, especially for non-EU companies, where we do need original documents. Um, and rather than, I suppose, changing the whole process of uh, employees having to submit originals, where you know legislation doesn't need it, um, we offer what we call a document retrieval service, whereby again, using the data that's in Concur, we pull it down, we analyze it for the hotels, and we'll just say for a US traveler going to the UK, you know, we'll group those hotels per supplier, and then we will request what we call true original certified copies from the hotels, which are eligible for VAT recovery purposes. You know, so it means that the clients don't have to change any processes, they don't have to do any additional work, there's no cost for them to, you know, put all the originals into boxes and ship them over to us, or, you know, or anything like that. We do all of that work behind the scenes on their behalf, and um, Maximize the VAT recovery amounts that we can get. Okay. So basically, there's huge amounts of money out there, guys. That you know, everybody wants to get back. On average, there's about a 50% in increase for companies that use the tax back Concur um, in integration. And as you saw from ITW, there was a 200% increase, which is brilliant. So we aim as uh, as a VAT recovery provider to do everything in our power to maximize your VAT recovery uh, and also providing you with enough data, enough information um, to, I suppose, learn and, and, and educate employees, you know, tax departments, booking departments, um, travel operators, whoever they are, to work with you guys to ensure the compliance levels of invoices, which will in turn maximize the VAT recovery. Okay. Okay, that's, uh, that's great. <laughs> Sorry, Anna. 
Um, thanks very much, uh, Aina, for sharing the knowledge with us. Um, we have a bit of time left, so we're just going to go through some of the questions that have come through on the question forum. If anybody has any additional questions, um, please ask away. Um, you can do it through the forum on the Grow to webinar. Um, I suppose, Aina, just as you finished up there, um, we might direct the first question at yourself, if that's okay. Um, so Mark was on, yep. and he would like to know um, what does his company have to do to get a free analysis with Taxback and Taxback International? Yeah, that's no problem. Um, basically, what all you have to do is you can reach out to us um, either online or through the, or through the Conquer uh, registration links, or reach out to us directly. Um, one of our one of my colleagues will be in touch with you to understand. Um, as well as how long you've been on Concur. What there is there, the process is there's a letter of authority between Concur and the client we need to send. We need to get the API activated. Um, and then once we have the API activated, we pull down the data directly, put it through our software tool sprinter, and we'll kick out the results to you within about four or five days. Um, it's quite straightforward. Um, and it's something that, uh, you know, if you reach out to us today, if you, everything could be operational within a couple of days. OK. Um very good. And so, so she have, um, this is actually just one directly with, um, from her. So we have already automated our expense process. Is there any real value in exploring Concur? So that's probably one that but, a few people are Sure. Sure. Well, th thanks, Laura. Um, so essentially, I mean, we, we do have organizations um, that have already automated uh, with another supplier and still come to Concur. Um, so, the, 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 and, and the reasons they do that really are twofold. Uh, the first one is um, global expansion. Many companies that nowadays are not just UK based um, and Concur is being designed to deliver the same um, compliance that we talked about from a UK perspective to other countries as well. And the beauty of Concur is that it can be expanded to include another region or another entity. Uh, and that may look totally local in terms of you know the rates that are on there, the user experience in terms of what they see, but it's still all consolidated into one uh, consolidated system, which gives you that overall reporting. Um, and again, you know, uh, as part of adding more um, countries or entities to concur from a commercial perspective, uh, the that just drives down the unit fee as well. So there's lots of benefits. Um, from doing that, and companies certainly that are looking for um, a multi-country solution, either today or potentially in the future, um, have certainly come to concur. Uh, the other reason is is more about service um, expansion. So we talked about the fact that concur doesn't just help automate expenses, but completes the visibility picture in terms of looking at supplier spend as well, looking at travel spend. Uh, and many, many times we've had clients come to us saying, look, we want to integrate travel and expense. We see the logic in that, but our existing supplier doesn't, doesn't do that. Uh, and then there's things like uh, the audit service that we mentioned where we can deliver further efficiencies and values through um, the, the, the validation of the receipts, the ability to reimburse employees when they need to, the ability to help uh, manage travelers while they're on the go in terms of uh, messaging them and making sure they're okay in crisis situations. So there's so many areas peripheral to expenses that Concur can continually deliver value in. And that's really why uh, you know, companies, all companies say to us, they chose Concur, maybe not because they need everything today, but it's the fee peace of mind of having a future-proof solution that drives them to us. So uh, yes, even if they're automated with just expense, there's so much more value they could potentially be deriving. Okay. Thanks very much, you have. Um, so there's a question after coming in from Tina, and it's directed at Concur, but I think it probably will need a tax back international input as well. So the question is, how can Concur deal with employees selecting that they have a VAT receipt, but they do not? Okay, so why don't I pick up the first bit, Eamon, and then you can complete the uh, the, the the trajectory, if you, if you like, the story. Um, yeah, no worries. So, so, so essentially, as part of our audit service, as we mentioned, uh, you know, we're going to, with, with the mobile 
we're going to give people the ability to easily image receipts. When it comes to our audit team, we're going to be checking for the amount on the receipt. We're going to be checking for some policy. And if someone has selected a VAT receipt, you know, our auditors uh, who are multilingual can see that and change that so that it was it wasn't a VAT receipt. Uh, so we have the ability to do that. And we also have the ability to educate users at point of entry as to what a VAT receipt looks like. So we can try and change behaviors and get those VAT receipts. But even if someone has stipulated a VAT receipt and it's not, many of our clients are still attaining the benefits of that spend by working with uh, our part through our partnership with, with TaxBack. Um, and I think TaxBack will take it a next stage further in that if it isn't a VAT receipt, they can help you out with that. Absolutely. So there's two sides to that coin in terms of if they selected a VAT receipt uh, and it's not, you know, our, um, I suppose, initial uh, analysis, part of free analysis, will take that into consideration that potentially, um, you know, there is VAT recoverable or a recoverable VAT on it. So when we pull it into the data analysis, um, you know, it'll be there and we can review the image to make sure that there is or isn't VAT there. If, for example, it's, it's, it's an invoice that should have VAT and doesn't have VAT on it, well then the next step is to, I suppose, approach the vendor or supplier on your behalf um, where, where applicable and request that they reissue the invoice in a fully compliant format. Okay. Uh, so there's actually a few questions coming in, so we'll try and address as many as possible. Um, so, uh, this is from Janine. I currently use a manual process for my VAT recovery. What is involved in implementing an automated solution with TaxBack International? Um, if you're currently using uh, Concur, it's very, very simple. Um, is that we, as I mentioned, similar to the free analysis, so we would need access into the API to the concurrent data, and we would need access then into the Concur system to be able to pull down the, the data feed and, and the images, and we will recover everything on your behalf behind the scenes. So there's no actual physical input um, from you guys whatsoever. Um, what it can do is, is, is again, a conscious of time here, is if you want to reach out to us directly, we can bring you through an A to Z of, of how that actually works. Um, you know, a short presentation, about 30 minutes or so, and, and have a further discussion on the line. Okay, and just, um, I think we have time for a, a few more. So, um, so you have, this is one for yourself. We already use an expense management system. What would be involved with the change over to Concur? You've probably already hit on it a little bit. Maybe so, yeah, so, so we talked about some of the benefits. Uh, or some of the reasons we see companies that are maybe already automated on a, another platform with another company coming to Concur in terms of the future proofing of the solution with uh, with services but global expansion. But in terms of the ease with which they can make that change, uh, th there's always going to be some work involved. Let's, let's be absolutely transparent about that. However, what Concur has done over the you know, last 23 years of, of, of working in this area is to create very simple country compliant templates to help with that configuration and deployment. And essentially we've configured about 80% of it to best practice, uh, we're talking about the UK now, UK requirements, but that can be replicated for different countries as well. So the other 20%, if you like, is the customization configuration to the specific customer's need. And that helps us reduce the deployment time it typically takes. Of course, when you're moving to a new system, change management, training is also very key, and Concur provides a whole change management um, um, area, if you like, within our solution to help with documentation. Um, we also provide training uh, to make it very easy. So yes, there will be some work involved, but because of what we've done to try and minimize the amount of work, uh, that deployment is nowhere near as onerous as, say, um, you know, uh, an HR system or an ERP system or anything like that. Um, we have clients that have got up and running um, within a week um, after procuring Concur, um, but typically I'd say, you know, the more um, expected time frame is probably about six to eight weeks um, to get the deployment of Concur. So certainly not an onerous process. Okay. Um, Sorry, now I'm just reading through the questions. So um, there's one question that came in here um, from Tina. 
And I think this is directed at um, Amy yourself. It's more um, from a vast side. In Germany, there is a 150 euro rule, meaning more information is needed. Um, how can you help with this, and what process do we have in place? Okay, so uh, yeah, that's it. that would probably be surrounded in, the, in terms of the, the, the simplified invoicing rule, in terms of you know what information needs to be on the invoices or, or needs to be on the receipts, and our VAT specialists um, that that we have working with us that will be as was auditing and, and, and reviewing the invoices are well aware that you know over certain amounts or below certain amounts the the VAT rules are in terms of compliance are, are different. Um, so we take everything like that into consideration, and we work with you guys where changes need to be made. We will make those changes. Otherwise, you know, knowing the tax office rules and regulations, we will provide to you reports that can be included in those local German VAT returns that will be 100% um, approved, and vice versa. If you're submitting foreign VAT recovery um, applications, again, everything is taken into consideration, making sure that what we submit and what we provide to you is 100% compliant and accurate. Okay. Um, that's great. If anyone has any further questions, you can um, contact us. We will be sending out an email um, after the event with the recording. Um, so I'd like to thank our two speakers today, uh, Shehab and Aina. It was great to have you guys on board. Um, so thank you for organizing, Laura. <laughs> yep. You're welcome. Thank you, everybody, for attending, and I hope we were able to answer all your questions.